Okay, here you go, pop quiz. Lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, celiac disease, multiple sclerosis, type one diabetes. What do all of those conditions have in common? They're all autoimmune diseases. As a matter of fact, there are as many as 80 types of autoimmune diseases. Now, do you know what an autoimmune disease is? Many people don't, yet as many as 24 million Americans are affected by one. And one of those people is the founder and executive director of Operation Shooting Star, Audrey Fisher Killen. Audrey, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, it's an honor to be here. Okay, so you were diagnosed in 2009 with multiple sclerosis. Uh, did you suspect something was wrong? My story, much like many people going through the diagnosis process for autoimmune diseases, is very complex. Um, but it started with, if you're familiar with the way your hand or your arm feels when it falls asleep, tingly, numb, and then you shake it and it, that feeling goes away. I got that in my right hand and it never went away. It started in my right hand, went up my arm. Very long story short, I went to my family doctor, got some x-rays ordered. Uh, she said that I had muscle spasms, gave me a prescription for muscle relaxers and sent me on my way. Um, the feeling then went up my arm, down my back, into my legs. I knew something else was going on. And about six doctors later, about five months later, and a ton of tests, that's when I was diagnosed. Oh my wow. goodness. Okay, so first, thank you for coming in and sharing your story. Thank you. Second, this is a kind of a hard one to ask. What was it like emotionally to get a diagnosis like that? Well, it sounds really bad to say this, but once I got the diagnosis, having gone through that whole process, it was a relief. Really? Not because I wanted to have MS, right. but because finally I had an answer. I mean, it was more at that point, not do I have something, but what do I have? And I need to figure it out so I can start managing it. And that's all autoimmune diseases. It's so complicated. There's such a gray area. It's no um, you know, set test that you can do, oh, you have it or you don't. It's it either is this, it might be that, so we're gonna test for this. Mm. So, um, I mean, it was scary. I'm sure I was in denial a little bit, but it was just one of those things where, I, all right, this is what it is, let's move forward and let's take it on. Okay, so that was 2009. Mm -hmm. um, how are you today? Managing, I mm -hmm. can't complain. I still walk and talk and do everything that I want to do. I have my days. Um, I'm much luckier than a lot of people that have MS who struggle a lot more. There's four different types and I have what's called relapsing re remitting. So my symptoms and episodes come and go. Mm -hmm. Whereas some people that have it much worse come and they just gradually get worse. So I, it becomes a balance of life. Um, you can't do too much, but you have to do enough. You know, body emotion stays in motion. So it's just finding that balance and, and one day at a time. And that's how, wow. you, uh, I mean, obviously it's changed your life. Would Absolutely. you say that's the biggest way it's changed your life? Um, yes. W once I was diagnosed, my entire life shifted for obvious reasons. But, um, you know, you grow up, you have these dreams and these goals and these aspirations of things you're going to do. And that all changed instantly. So I just had to reevaluate and come up with new dreams and new goals and you know, start getting motivated to do different things and other things. So do I understand your dad also had an autoimmune disease? Yes. A few years previous or prior to my diagnosis, he was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Um, and it wasn't until I was diagnosed and I started researching MS that I found the connection between us. Wow. And I was intrigued and fascinated and frustrated that I had no idea that, you know, these things were essentially the same, same problem, different names, different types of the body affected, but, you know, it's autoimmunity, it's all the same disease. And that's how Operation Shooting Star came about? Yes, yes. Um, I needed something positive to focus on when I was diagnosed, so I immediately started trying to get involved with fundraisers and, and local, you know, area organizations, but then once I found the connection between my father and myself, I thought it was much bigger than me and much bigger than MS. So um, again, being intrigued and fascinated by the connection, I thought I had no idea. I had never heard of this until I was directly affected. So how many other people don't know that autoimmune diseases are out there and are all connected? And that's essentially what kick-started it. And, and everything that you raise goes to research. Absolutely, absolutely. That's so, an important thing. Absolutely, I feel, um, to put it quite simply, that if we can focus on 
If we can support the research that's targeting um, and identifying the common keys to individual cures for over 80 diseases, that essentially, if they find something, they could cure one disease and cure all of them. So cure one to cure all, I mean, that, that's our motto. It's, you know, if we support that and they keep plugging away, then, you know, over 80 diseases could essentially that's be wiped out. Yeah. <laughs> and one way we can help is with the fall extravaganza. What's that? Well, we've got a bunch of fundraisers coming up, but it all started with a team of 10. We're going to be doing the Chesapeake Bay Bridge 10K. Um, we've got some runners and walkers. Thank you to Custom Mechanicals registered our team for us. And um, as a way of trying to build support and funds for that to support us as we do that race, we've done, we're doing three local area um, fundraisers in Sussex County, Delaware. We're starting with E.T. the Movie at the Clayton Theater in Dagsboro. <laughs> and that's October 14th, and then we move on to the Georgia House Restaurant in Selbyville, and that's October 23rd, and then we do the race on November 5th, and we come back on November 10th, which just so happens to be Operation Shooting Star's birthday, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do our finale fundraiser at the Cove at Bayside with Dirt Road Outlaws Band. So, that's awesome. a lot yeah. of fun things coming up. Good of course, we're gonna, that's, that's a lot of information. Thank we're you. gonna have it all on our website, <laughs> delmarvalife.com. Audrey, thank you so much you. for all you do.